Hey, Westy Window Wagon here. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the cartridges on the Zero Pure machines. Uh, people get, they call up, they're having problems with their TDS not going down or they're not getting good flow. A lot of times the problem is the cartridge. So your cartridge basically has two caps. This is what I'll call the wagon wheel. This is solid in. On the older cartridges, it's going to have a solid in like this, you know. And the newer ones, it's just got a donut. And the top behind here has always been a donut. It goes at the top after you fill the resin. So when you're refilling the resin, always refill it from this end. You know, especially if you have this old type. Because after time, it tends to get weak. And if you pull it out, it tends to, you know, basically break. All right. So the key is, and where people have the problem, is this little washer that goes in here. I'll show you what it looks like. You can see there's an indention here. So it looks like this, okay? This one, if you'll look and see, it has like groove in it. That's from over tightening uh, the housing when you uh, close the housing. It's best to just use to hand tighten it, not a tool. So you'll cause this indention. That can cause your TDS, um, your resin not to properly filter the water, in other words, the water not passing through it correctly, it mixing with the other outside water. So it should look more like this. It should be smooth with no indentation, no distortion whatsoever. Now, another thing is always make sure that this is seated correctly. It needs to be seated directly in the grooves. What you want to do is you want to put a little bit of lubrication on it here to make it stick. So you can just take your finger, dab lubrication on this all the way around. This will not only help it from leaking, but it also will make a good seal. And it also keeps these from drying out. So once you've lubricated it, <clears throat> press it directly into that. And see, that'll also help it hold. So when you go to put it down, because this end you have the older systems that are inverted, this will go down where it mounts to the frame. If you have the newer systems um, where the canister is upright, the cap is upright, then it goes this way. So when you take it out, when you take your housing off, you'll see this at the very top. All right, I hope that's helpful.